Hi Aquarius, how are we doing today? This is your end of the month reading from November 16th, the 30th. I'm um, sorry that these are a little delayed, it's just been uh, quite a busy month for me. Um, so I appreciate your patience. If this re resonates with you, please like, subscribe, share, comment. If it doesn't check your moon and rising because you could be in that energy as well. Okay, let's see what we got. Aquarius, you're in rest mode right now. Um, <clears throat> four of swords kind of coming out right away. Let me just grab some more cards here so I have some better information. Okay, so we have the Four of Swords coming out of here right away. Rest mode. You're um, taking the time to maybe rest, heal, uh, maybe you were sick. Whatever it is here, it seems like it's a kind of like a timeout for you. You're kind of prioritizing your rest or um, prioritizing um, your kind of own care here. Um, seems like we're kind of letting go of an idea. Um, it feels like almost like, especially with this Four of Pentacles reverse, that we're kind of letting go of the idea that we don't need to rest or that... Um, Almost it's like thinking um, that this rest is not productive or things aren't moving anywhere. We have the Seven of Swords here as well, and we have the Queen of Wands. For me, what this is kind of these kind of cards are reading for me is a sense that um, we're kind of releasing this idea that um, that we need to constantly be doing something or constantly um, need to kind of. Um, you know, know the next step or see the next step here um, moving forward. It's kind of like when we are prioritizing our own um, stillness, when we're prioritizing our rest here, you know that things will already happen for you and will continue to happen for you because you're like, I just need to rest right now and then I'll kind of be good to go. Then that I'll be kind of game to kind of be whatever it is that I need to be here because we do have the Queen of Wands coming out at the end and this is kind of telling me that, hey, um, you know, we are feeling the masterful um, energy that we create, a creative energy. Um, we kind of see ourselves as this queen of wands here. We see ourselves being this kind of creative drive or this kind of creative force. Now the seven of swords is here, but it's almost feeling like for me, I don't know, maybe for some of you, there is a fire sign that's kind of being sneaky around you um, here, but it doesn't feel that way to me. It just feels almost like, um, like we're letting go of the fact that we think we might be missing out or something uh missing out on something or feeling like uh maybe we're not doing enough or like cheating ourselves out of opportunity in a weird way because we are resting or because we are kind of um letting ourselves have a little break here a little time out um what they're saying and what it's feeling like is like don't worry about that aquarius honestly you kind of are the queen of wands here and with the queen of wands you got to really see it in that regal um, manner here you really got to see it like people bring stuff to you you. People um, see you as this queen. People see you at the height of your creativity, what you bring to the table. Um, they really kind of look up to you here. And I think that's what this kind of beginning of this read is all about. It's like, even if you take a rest day, you're going to still be that queen. It's not this kind of constant hustle that needs to go on. I mean, you're prioritizing your rest right now. It's good because you're going to come back stronger because you are the queen of wands and you understand that, hey, you know, it, it's, it's not all about me. Things can come to me. I need to prioritize my rest right now. I see that. I understand that. And I'm going to move forward. I mean, you're not going to cheat yourself out of it. And I think that's what kind of the seven of swords is representing here is that we're not going to cheat ourselves out of that time to take a step back at the time to pause, the time to rest anymore. Because, um, you know, things will just kind of come towards you. We have the higher fund here. Taurus energy uh, might be dealing with a Taurus Aquarius right now. Um, interesting. I got the happy family card in, in the um, sideways here. For some of you, you might be talking to a family therapist um, or talking to um, kind of a professional something ha having to do with your family. Um, I have the happy family card. And when it comes to sideways like this, it means it could be taken either way. Um, so for, for some of you, you might be having some family issues or for some of you resolving some family issues here. Maybe some of you are in um, family, uh, I'm kind of seeing like family counseling, family court maybe. Um, it seems like, again, you're talking to someone about it. For some of you, again, Hierophant could be religious so if you are in a religion, um, you might be taking, um, uh, asking uh, spiritual counsel, whoever that may be for you, um, about um, what to do kind of with your family uh, here, Aquarius. Um, 
again, it's just kind of feeling like uh, going to talk to someone here. If not, it might be, um, some of you might be seeing a psychic as well in this month. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Some of you might be going to like some kind of like spiritual counseling or, or um, things like that. If it's not, there might be a Taurus in their family that you're dealing with that it might be kind of um, wishy-washy right now. Um, <clears throat> but all I gotta say is I have a good feeling about this kind of um, Ten of Cups card. I feel like whatever it is here that um, is kind of on the table that's kind of going either way is going to be resolved. So I don't want you to stress too much about that. you something is um not going or moving ahead with a fire sign here um again it doesn't have to be a physical relationship um it can be a, a business partnership it can be a friendship here but there's some stagnancy with this fire sign we have the fire sign kind of in um the king of wands in reverse aries leo sagittarius kind of energy here um so something's kind of stale something's not really moving forward i see again with the two cups reversed there's probably going to be a break in this relationship um <clears throat> Maybe for some of you that are, are going to kind of, this has to do with this kind of family situation here. Um, if it's not someone that's a fire sign, it could be someone who is just kind of a little bit quick to anger. Um, someone who is kind of unmotivated. Um, they kind of, uh, they're kind of uh, big ego based um, here as well. So there might be someone like that that you are dealing with and you're just like, you know what, I'm gonna prioritize my um, rest right now because I can't even kind of deal um, with this energy, whatever it is here. Again, might be dealing with someone with a kind of a big ego, someone that might be a little quick to anger. Um, here, that's kind of stressing you out um, a bit. Um, again, I don't think, it's feeling this, that, like this might not, not be the time for this relationship um, here or I want to get more like it kind of feels like again it kind of feels like we are going to kind of distance ourselves from this person a little bit can i get more on this tooth cup first victory so it seems like there is just going to be um you know this kind of moving on energy from whatever this kind of fire sign energy is here this king of wands in reverse this one with kind of a big ego um there's going to be a victory when this kind of relationship ends whether that's be um, a physical relationship with you um whether again it's a friend whether it's a business partner there seems like there's this major victory in this ending of this partnership um for you so again do not stress because it sounds like you're probably making the right call here um with the four of swords kind of being at the main of the reading it's um, you might need to meditate on things, release some things. Maybe some of this is what you're releasing, some of this energy towards this um, fire sign here, right? Um, this king of wands in reverse, some old pent up energy that you're kind of releasing here to kind of bring the family back into harmony. Um, again, that might be specific for some people uh, here, Aquarius, but I don't know. It looks like there's going to be a major victory that way for you. For Aquarius, please. You're moving forward with the chariot. You're going, you're just like, nah. Um, we're releasing that old stuff here and we're moving forward. We're kind of on our chariot. We're full speed ahead. Um, nothing can really stall us here. Again, you have um, you have the six of wands here and you have the chariot card. It means that you're gonna be victorious and things will start to move fast for you. So even again, if you're in this like restful period right now, do not stress um, because you're moving past it you're kind of going um you're kind of gaining your energy i think to be in this momentum so especially when things kind of uh, start moving fast for you again i think you're gonna be like oh thank god i like took some time out to rest or um you know got myself um took some time out to think for myself as well here um but yeah you're moving forward from this you're moving past this situation for sure page of cups So we have the page of cups here. Um, 
coming out. So that could be for some of you, if this is a romantic relationship, um, you might be having another romantic offer here. Maybe it's from a Cancer um, kind of energy. Uh, but basically, this uh, Page of Cups could also be just someone coming to talk to you. It could be Apology as well. It is followed by the Ace of Pentacles, and it's followed by the Page of Pentacles in reverse. So it kind of seems... Um, I don't know. For, for me, when getting these two cards, that could be mean a job might fall through for you. Um, something might not be working out the way you want it to in that sense. Again, with the Chariot card here and Victory card here, I don't want you to stress too much. Um, but it just could mean um, some kind of finance that you're hoping for. Maybe it wasn't coming in. Maybe this Page of Cups is here to help you, um, assist you with this here. Um, they're looking out for you, um, being there for you emotionally during this time. I kind of want to get more on kind of what this kind of um, new start is that we're kind of that's kind of on hold here. This new start that's kind of not coming in the way we want it to. Something that's not building for us the right way. I have more of these case and page. Some of you are having a hard time kind of leaving this past cycle that we've uh, that we've been on there's some kind of um energy here where you're maybe not believing in yourself or not feeling like um these new offers will come for you or or come to you so i just want you to be aware of that because with the world in reverse it kind of means um we're not finishing a cycle here we're not kind of moving past it it could be um d delays involved with the world in some kind of way so maybe some of you are having some delays um with um some kind of work here because of kind of worldly issues um but it's feeling here that we're not kind of closing off a chapter here we're not kind of ending a cycle for ourselves so while you're in this time of like contemplation while you're in this time of kind of sitting back and thinking here um really kind of uh, think and manifest what you kind of want out of this new cycle what you want to be different um going um going in here because there is this weird energy of you kind of not um fully taking in this kind of um new opportunity or um new thing you kind of want to grow or create here and it kind of fear feels like out of fear um fears like uh things that you you kind of feel like it won't go right or this kind of um, money won't come through for you so i want you to kind of erase that from your mind right now because they really want you to be the full energy here this new beginning um this is kind of what i think this time of maybe contemplation maybe this time of letting things go is going to do for you it's going to help you move forward because you're leaving everything else behind, right? It's almost like you're taking some weight off the chariot so that it can move faster. Um, it's the energy I'm getting. And you will be victorious, but I, again, it's feeling like wrapped in a little bit of fear here. And maybe this page of Pen cups is maybe a new romantic offer. Maybe it's someone just kind of coming in and also just kind of um, giving you advice. Uh, someone looking after you emotionally, taking care of you um, to the fact where they're just like, you know what, you should go for your dreams. You should go for what you're doing here and stop kind of doubting yourself or stop that this kind of um, new opportunities won't come in for you um, especially with the world reverse there's something in this old cycle that we need to let go of what is this thing in this old cycle that we need to let go of for aquarius please what in this old cycle do we need to let go of two of pentacles it's kind of like Feeling like the energy, like we can't do one without the other. We're kind of, um, you know, it's, it, it, it's definitely involves with money, this whole kind of situation, this whole kind of what we want to do, what we want to create for ourselves. Um, here, I really want you to kind of move into the space of more feeling like money um, is abundant for you, that money is naturally going to come in so that that money is not kind of a limitation here um, for you in that sense. Yes, I'm telling you to be responsible with your money still, but don't see it as like, if I go this path, I won't have any money or, um, you know, um, it, ju it just kind of feels like we're kind of being like, well, I don't really have the money to do this right now instead of more in the money that money will come to me no matter what if i'm following my um true intention here if i'm being open um to the world open to new opportunities money will kind of come my way it seems like almost in the sense the thing we're not letting go of is that we um won't have enough money or um you know this idea that money is not going to like the universe is not going to take care of us money wise here so i want you to kind of 
let go of that for these um, two weeks. And I want you to just be open to what it is you actually want to do here, what it is that you actually will, um, will create, and just know the money that will the money will follow you with that because. When you're following your true purpose and you feel like money is on the way for you as well, the universe starts to listen and starts to kind of align that for you. But if you think every road ahead is just going to um, not really bring value into your life or, or bring money, remember money is just energy. So call it upon yourself here, Aquarius. Um, really see like almost this next year for yourself is going to be a very uh, fruitful year, um, very money. Um, uh, a very fruitfully like that what am i trying to say here do you know what i mean um, um fruitful in the bank account i'll say that um kind of year for you so stop worrying that you're going to have to constantly kind of be in this state of um either balancing your budget or money's not going to come for you um really get in this queen of wands energy and just understand that money is just energy okay i'm just pulling some all the parts for you for aquarius please Some of you here too, it's kind of, especially with this new adventure or this money thing, it's kind of, that might be kind of the deciding factor of, of wanting to do. Maybe you, some of you want to kind of switch your focus here. I mean, we have the indecision card, which means we're kind of at a place of crossroads. We're kind of deciding one way or the uh, or the other. Um, so all I got to say is just make sure you are, um, if there is kind of two avenues that you are choosing from, um, if you can't do two avenues and you're trying to decide what to put your focus on, just follow your gut intention and that will help you kind of lead you there so we also got harith longing for home homesick of the stars harith is a wealth word that's difficult to translate which refers to a, a certain longing or homesickness a yearning for a home or place that we cannot return to this is unexplainable unshakable longing for home is common in star seeds and old souls Perhaps you've had it since birth. For some, this distant memory of a planet, galaxy, or star system in the universe that their soul uh, remembers and yearns to return to, a place that they may have experienced more than Earth. For others, it's a longing for a unity of source and a remembering of interconnected ones. This yearning can lead to some star seeds to travel, searching all corners of the planet to find a physical place that feels more like home. For others, it can manifest in the need to find home in people, communities, and relationships, a journey to find somewhere they truly belong. If you resonate with this yearning for home, but do not really know where home is, you're being invited to remember that your soul chose to be on earth. You're being called to fully commit to embodying your life. You're being, called, uh, you're being reassured that you did not come here alone and that your soul uh, consciously decided to experience what it's like to be a soul in a human body on the planet earth at this time. You're being called to anchor all of your presence, your personality, your soul, your spirit in the here and now into fully committing this life right now, to commit to putting two uh, feet in, completely in. How can you commit more fully to your life? And I think this is kind of the life that we want for ourselves, the life, um, our dream life, what we kind of imagine it to be here. Here, I'm just gonna fix the camera because it's kind of bugging me, it's a little offside. Um, what we kind of uh, dreaming it to be here, Aquarius, you know, like put that, write it down. Like, what do you want for the next year? Um, what you want your life to look like? What's your kind of dream life here? Because they're really saying kind of go for it. Um, if we are having some hesitations to push through and just go for it that you actually want. Um, what it is you want in this life. Trust the timing, stay in the present. It's uh, what you kind of got to do. All right. So in the Energy Oracle, we have the second um, chakra, Archangel Ariel, intimacy and creativity. The second chakra vibrates with the energy of beautiful Angel Ariel. She sends her bright orange energy, promoting inspired creativity, Queen of Wands energy here, greater comfort and intimacy. When this card appears upright, it's urging you to get creative, to let yourself reach out to unexplored areas of self-expression and new projects that may be more creative approach. This is also a time when energies of closeness with others or nurturing yourself can flow more freely. You can now open yourself to emotional intimacy that may be coming your way. So nurture yourself and be ready to receive this affection and uh, accommodary of the uh, resonant souls around you. Perfect. 
looks like, again, we're getting into this new creative bug, and I feel like that's what maybe this new kind of project is, or this new thing that we're kind of moving forward. Um, here is with this kind of queen of wands energy um you know you are kind of this creative being coming up right now and just um don't stress so much that it won't work out for you think of it as um, truly know in your soul that it will because you are following your path right aquarius that was your end of the month reading i hope it helped